viewers, welcome to My Sami Tutorials. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the My Profile module. Using my web browser, let's visit mysami.slco.org. After logging in, we're going to click on My Profile in the top left corner. As you can see, some of the information from registration has already been populated in the designated fields within My Profile for me. Within My Profile, basic information can be entered and saved, such as your basic information, which is your name and date of birth, demographic information like your gender and ethnicity, status if you're the head of the household or an account owner, contact information such as your phone number, email, or mailing address, other, which is any disabilities you may have as well as emergency contact, and household. This information is often needed to fill out application for programs or services during intake. Henceforth, the more accurate the information you input, the more beneficial this module will be for you. When editing each section, fields marked with an asterisk or highlighted in yellow are required. If they are left blank, changes will not be saved and an alert will appear. If you are hesitant in saving your actual information, the required fields do not need to be accurate. They just need to be filled out. Clicking on the Save button will save any new changes made to the page. However, if the newly inputted information is incorrect, clicking on Reset will revert the newest changes back to the last saved data. The little arrow in the top left corner is essentially a back button, redirecting back to the landing page. To quickly scroll through the selected page sections, click on the hamburger menu, which is the three bars located near the top right of the screen. Now going into My Household, it is a bit different when compared to the other submenus within My Profile. My Household allows household member records to be added and removed. This information is often needed to determine household size when calculating income eligibility for programs and services. To create a new household member record, click on the button labeled Add. Here, you'll be able to add any additional information you would like regarding your household member. You only need to fill out the required fields, however, are welcome to complete the form as needed. For instance, if the person I was adding to my household was my child, I would want to add their social security number for my personal benefit. This would assist me in filling out forms for my child such as student enrollment or reduced lunch forms without having to memorize my child's information. As seen on the previous page, my household can also be used to track if someone is currently living with the account owner or if they have moved out. I will use Jimmy Pesto as an example. Let's say he's my brother, and he decides to move in with me. I'm going to click on the pencil button to edit the selected household member record and check the box that says currently resides in household. Clicking on save will save the changes made to the record and direct back to my household. Here, it can be seen that Jimmy now currently resides within my household, or in other words, is now living with me. Now, let's say I get in a huge fight with Jimmy and he moves out of state. I have the option of updating his record to display that he's no longer living with me again, or clicking on the red trash can will permanently delete the household member record. A pop-up will appear to confirm the decision. To complete the action, choose Delete. If the decision was a mistake, choose Cancel. For additional support, please contact a human services navigator at 385-468-5555 or email us at navigator at slco.org. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day!